this part of the AI video, I'm going to show that you need to have a stand that's elevated up off the ground. A milking stand for a dairy goat works just fine. Also, you uh, can have a, a fitting stand for a sheep. Generally, we take two people to do this. I'm going to show you two ways that we elevate the pelvis on these does so that we can get better visualization when we do put the uh, speculum in them. Uh, generally, since I'm a right-handed person, I'll work off the left-hand side of the dough. But if I had an assistant, they would take this dough, put their leg up on the stand, and put it right on the stand and hold her like that, elevated. That is the, the old tried and true method of doing it. But we devised a little technique that's a little different that we elevate them by using a block and tackle and a deer hunter's gamble. Uh, anybody who's deer hunters has used this to use skin and deer. We also take and modified a horse cinch. We just put this right under her. Usually they don't uh, object too much. up and just slowly pull her up so that her rear legs are slightly off the ground. It also works good if you got an assistant holding her from side to side so that she's not fighting. And you see, this is not uncomfortable to her. She's comfortable here. She's sitting here. When we have her there, we then will take a loop speculum. We got there OB lube will lube up this speculum. I'm really partial to the uh, speculum that has the insert. We're just going to go partially way in here because this dough doesn't need to be messed with the day out of season. And uh, we'll actually go on her vagina. I've already cleaned this with a paper towel beforehand. You want to be clean. You don't have to be sterile, but you don't want to take trash into the uterus. And what we'll do is we'll put this into her, and uh, now she's not in heat, so this is, and we'll put this into her, and then take this, and then we'll be able to visualize once that's inside her. But I just wanted to show you the, the technique we use to elevate the pelvises, to get the, the speculum into the dough so that we can, and when we're doing the artificial insemination, we're doing everything right through the tip there of the, uh, the speculum. So from here, what we're going to do is go and thaw some semen and show you our technique for, for loading the gun so that we can inseminate the dough. Now, one thing before we get to there, we would actually put her light in here, visualize, find her cervix, and see if she had the correct discharge and, and the correct openness of her cervix before we'd ever attempt to do any AI.